moisturizer. It's like this little honeycomb. I'm literally looking at it because it's on the floor over there. Um, that's a really great one. The peptide, polypeptide from Drunk Elephant is a great moisturizer if you have acne prone skin, as well as the peptide moisturizer from Ola Hendrickson is really great. Those are my main recommendations if you've damaged your skin's barrier because if you think about a damaged skin barrier, it basically means that it now is unable to protect itself from bacteria and from other pollution and dirt because there's no barrier. Like you can't protect from all the bad stuff. Um, so that means you need to stop with all of the acids and just go back to repairing. But if your skin is really oily and not dry, um, an acne controlling cleanser like um, La Ro Roche Posay has a great one. Who else? Uh, Clean and Clear is one that I always use and I still use. I can like show you guys what's in my shower if you want, but those are my, it, that's my advice if you're struggling with acne. I also struggle with acne sometimes because I do hot yoga and I work out a lot. So sometimes randomly, if I'm working out a ton and I'm in my sweaty gym clothes for too long, I will start seeing back acne. And for that, I like using, um, there's like a body retinol from Kupari that's great and a, uh, like an acid spray. I get it on Amazon, acid spray. Amazon. It's like for your, it's meant for your body. Where is it? Hypochlorous acid spray is great. That's what I like using for back knee. Yeah, the La Roche Posay one is really good. Very random, but I gotta say, gorgeous eyebrows. Thank you. Uh, I'm using on my eyebrows. So I already have pretty bushy eyebrows. I don't normally fill them in with a pencil. Sometimes I do, but a lot of the times it's just airbrow from Kosas. And I'll just work this through. This is in the shade medium brown. I believe that the best shade of eyebrow product for you is if you have light hair, you should go two shades darker than your hair color. And if you have dark hair, you should go two shades lighter than your hair color. So because I have dark hair, I have an eyebrow gel that is two shades lighter than my natural hair color. Because if I were to use like a color that matched my hair, it would be too dark and too intense. So blonde hair, two shades darker, dark hair, two shades lighter. Also, I was super insecure about my eyebrows the entirety of growing up because they were so big and they were like caterpillars on my face and I hated them. And my mom would always tell me that I would love them someday. And I would be like, no, I hate them so much. And now that I'm an adult, she was right, of course. I love my eyebrows. So it just takes a while sometimes. I want to try to do eyebrow makeup, but when I darken it, I look like a <laughs> Sharpie on my eyebrows. <laughs> if you feel like your brows are feeling too dark, maybe just go with a brow gel like this so you don't actually have to draw them on. You should also be using a product that has a spoolie so you can blend it out really easily because even I feel that way sometimes. And my other piece of advice is try to balance out your makeup well. So if you're not wearing any makeup on your face and you're wearing a bunch on your eyebrows, it's always gonna look unbalanced. You have to try to think about with big brows like this, I probably need like a more intense eye or like some sort of lips to balance everything out. And this is an embarrassing story, but I once was using a like face shaver and I wasn't paying attention and I like literally shaved off half of my eyebrow. Like literally the entirety of this chunk was gone. And so I looked crazy and I had to fill in my eyebrows like two blocks every day because it was the only way to make it look natural. But then because I had block eyebrows, I had to wear full glam every day to just balance my face out. And it was so embarrassing. Um, so that was a tough time for me. Uh, but if you're feeling like you have brows for or blocks for brows, just try using a gel for a while and then see how you feel. Okay, I think I'm gonna use this on the Victoria's Secret video tonight. If you've ever heard of these, they're eye lights from RMS Beauty. They're so stunning. I wanna show you what this looks like. This is in the shade Supernova, I think. So, chop a row of them. Supernova, are you kidding? 
it's actually crazy. This makeup artist who founded this brand, it's a totally clean beauty brand. She actually used to do the makeup for Victoria's Secret. If you've heard that sound on TikTok, that's like, people don't know that Victoria's Secret used to use red blush. That's her voice. She's the founder. RMS Beauty Sounder is the one who made that sound and who used to do Victoria's Secret makeup. And this is one of the products she made. And I mean, are you kidding? This is so stunning. So I think I'm gonna, whoa. It doesn't budge either. Once it's dry, it's dry. Good to know. I'm not gonna be able to move that later. Oopsie, I guess that's part of me now, but they're really beautiful. She did Victoria's Secret makeup back in like 2001, 2002, like really old Victoria's Secret days.